What's up guys, Hellraiser Gaming here and welcome back to another Fortnite creative tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a 1v1 infinite reset button in creative. You do not need any more devices than these devices right here. You don't need 50 explosive barrels, you don't need zombies, you don't need anything like that. You only need these devices because a new setting has been added to creative to make 1v1 so much easier now in creative and uh, I can't wait to show you guys. So first of all you want to build your 1v1 area out of these devices. This is the indestructible gallery you can find it here. Uh, the reason being is because you don't want the bomb to blow up the 1v1 setup. So you want the floor to be made out of these devices and you want the the uh, steps, steps to be made out of something along these lines. It can be completely up to you. But just so it doesn't blow up your map, that's pretty much what you want. And then you can build whatever you want further away, uh, exactly how you want it to be. So let's go through the settings. As you can see, we're going to need a button. We're going to need an explosive device, uh, explosive barrel, a sequencer, and a trigger. You may not need the sequencer if you're better at mechanics. You might just use the trigger for this. But uh, I'm going to be showing you guys the simplest way to make it. So let's start off with the button. You want to place this down. You want to go into settings and you want to be changing when interacted with transmit on channel one, which is right here. That is the only setting you want to change on that. Then you want to place the explosive barrel, as you can see here. You want to go into it and change these settings. Health, indestructible, so that the players can't accidentally hit it and blow it up. Blast radius, you want that on whatever size you want. You probably want this about five uh, depending on how big of an area the players can build in. You might even have it on as big as possible, to be honest, uh, but that is completely up to you. It depends how far away you want the players to be building and you want the area to blow up. Then you want to go to player damage zero, structure damage 5,000, knock back off, play audio off, visible during games off, and then explode when receiving from channel one, and then reset, reset on channel two. So that when you press that button, it's going to blow it up. It's going to send a signal to the sequencer, which is then going to reset the explosive device, which means you can play it, press the button again. So now you want to go to the sequencer, change these two settings here, length 0.5, start sequencer on channel one. So when the button is triggered, it's going to trigger the sequencer. Then on the trigger, you're going to want triggered by vehicles off, triggered when receiving from, uh, when triggered, transmit on channel two. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah. Now you've got it all set up, let's show you how this works in game. You can also have these explosive devices everywhere around the 1v1 area, just so you're making sure that it's going to destroy the player builds. But you've just got to make sure that everything around the area is going to be made out of indestructible buildings. So let's start the game and show you how this works. So here we are, just loading in real quickly and uh, let's go up to this. So you're going to interact with it, as you can see it's going to blow it up. Now, with, with the correct settings, you just press it again, and there you go, keep building, and keep building, and you can infinitely reset the builds. This will never, ever, ever destroy. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to get Toblerone to come over and build, and as you can see, everything he builds, I'm going to be able to just destroy and uh, yeah that's pretty much it that is all the settings i really hope this video helped you if it did make sure to hit that like button subscribe for more tutorials just like this one because you never want to miss out on this to make your 1v1 areas better your zone wars box fights everything guys i'm going to be doing tutorials on everything so make sure to subscribe hit that like button click that bell to get notified when i upload in the future and i will see you all in the next one